How are you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Today we're here to bring you something special. So you guys remember Rocky, the dwarf came an alligator. You remember the video, how we set up this whole cage. Well, today we are saying goodbye to Rocky. Alright, so uh, my buddy Matt's Monster Fish came up. He uh, loved Rocky so much that uh, he wanted to acquire this gator once he found out I was going to get rid of him. Because if you guys are looking at this tank right here, this is the 500 gallon cube. And to keep this aquarium in this room, I got to get rid of that alligator because this tank has to go against that wall. So to do so, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Rocky. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give him the, the Cayman, the tank, we're going to give him the heated lamp, the, the, the light with it, we're going to give him the heated rock, and uh, he's not getting this plastic vivarium river piece, but he's getting something like it, it's a little bit natural stone look that will actually match the, the heated rock in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give him that with all the decorations, the tank, the Cayman, all that. And let's go see what he brought us. All right, guys, so here's actually two separate deals going on right now. Uh, this is a 75-gallon tank right now. We use this quarantine for our little monster grow outs. It's a little, little bit nasty right now because I just stirred up the sponge filter. It kicked a little bit of nastiness in there because it came apart when we were acclimating these fish from Matt's Monster Fish. So if you look in here, this is a little itty-bitty baby flag tail. And over here, we've got a 6-inch or so gulper catfish. Now if you guys remember a certain video, there is a graphic content on YouTube about a gulper cat eating a tiger shovel nose that is absolutely bigger than himself. He actually busted through his whole stomach. And that's actually a pretty gruesome video. If you guys go on Matt's Monster Fish, you guys can see it. But in the deal we acquired this uh, wall aquarium right here. We're actually going to hang up on our wall. And we actually got a 110-gallon uh, gear that we're going to replace this aquarium with probably in the next day or two. But uh, I trick graded a, a fish to make that deal happen. But to get to the meat of the potatoes of the video here, we've got Matt's Monster Fish. He brought up some bitchers. He brought up, for one, a beautiful Enla Cherry Biter here. Then we've got this awesome Del Heasy. Over here you can't forget about the ornate biter. They've got that beautiful leopard pattern on them. Just absolutely amazing. This guy here is a royal clown knife. As you can see, he's got stripes and dots. You don't really see these too often in the aquarium trade, but nonetheless, we got one. Over here, this is a Temensis peacock bass. He's being a little feisty, not wanting to be videoed right now. And then behind the uh, Temensis, is this beautiful Giardini Arowana. Now if you guys know, this is an Arowana from Australia, like the Leachardi Arrow, but they are a little bit more mean. It's uh, hard to keep these in with other Arowana because they like to fight, but we're gonna try our luck with them here at the Ohio Fish Rescue and see what we can do with them. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so along with them other fish, we actually, rescue this little baby wolf fish today. We're getting ready to acclimate him into his tank as well. I'm not sure the species on him, but nonetheless, he is a vicious wolf fish. You guys can see he's just a big fat blob of a catfish. He's going right in here so he can quarantine. But the big thing with the, these guys is a lot of them don't like to take non-live food. But uh, we're going to try and get, get him on tilapia here. And you guys will have some awesome feeding videos coming from this guy. Can't wait.
So in here we've got, oh, he's a jumper. But we've got the amazing little baby flag tail. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and let them quarantine with these little axolotls here. They should get along just fine. These tanks have been up and running for quite some time now. But I am going to put the lid on them so the little tiny fish doesn't jump over with the gulper cat. That would be tragic. <laughs> You can see him uh, eyeing him up already. So give me food. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're here with my masterful net. Well, we got this big old tub of fish. We're gonna go ahead and start catching them out. So I'm gonna catch this arowana first because he's a jumpy guy. Cover the net, of course. And into the tank he goes. Look at that beauty. You can see that on the scaling, he's got like pink and Oh my god, he's just the beauty of a little Jardini Arowana. He's going to be my new buddy. So, alright, let's uh, catch this bass next. Maybe? Oh, well, nice that's coming. So, th this guy is actually really weird. He transports really well. He likes to knock himself out and flip upside down and give us all a big scare. Look at him. So we're going to have to let him settle in for a while. Hopefully he doesn't stress out too much. But he's a royal clump clone knife. Beautiful fish. There we go. Let's uh, get this guy. Oh, get anyone we can. There we go. We're getting the ornate biter next. Or be sheer, however you want to pronounce it. He's a good 10 inches or so. Here we go. Next. Bite you up on the block. Snag him quick. This is a Delhezy Biter. Look at that beautiful pattern. He's got some nice little striations on his back. He's a little bit chewed up in the, the tail fin, but that'll heal back no problem whatsoever. All right, let's uh, get this guy. Actually, this guy I thought was an Anlachary Biter is actually is not. It's a, oh, it's a Wixie. There we go, a Wixie Biter. Now that Matt said it, you, you can actually see that it is a green pattern on sort to the back. When he gets older, he will get more green on him. And he will be a greenish biter with uh, black stripes. But that's all something I don't have. If you guys actually want to come over here, I will show you what an emulatory is supposed to show, supposed to be like. Uh, where's he at? Look at that guy right there. He's about 18 inches. That is an emulatory biter. So uh, we're getting all the uh, species of biters back in the house. So I'm very happy about that guy. Now, last but not least, I gotta catch this little bass. Oh my god, he's so quick. He is fast. Not quick enough. Oh, he, he got my shoe though. Look at this guy. Look at the patterns on this guy. So if you guys remember, we got some fish off Matt a little while ago, and uh, he actually took some of my Tamensis bass as babies, and he actually grew them out. Now he's finally returning home. And this is, this was a little baby. He was maybe an inch long, but look at the patterns on him. He's getting so much coloring and spangles. He's a little bit stressed right now, but get, give him till tomorrow, he's going to look amazing. So I will follow up tomorrow morning and show you guys what these guys look like. Alrighty guys, so coming out today, the water's cleared up, the monsters are settled in. So basically here we have the 75 gallon. This is basically the Matt's Monster Fish Tank. We've pretty much gotten almost all of these fish from Matt. There goes that beautiful little Tementis Peacock Bass. You can see his spangles are starting to come in. He's getting some real nice coloring on there. This is that Armadus that we uh, got off of him a couple weeks back. He's got some real great coloring on him as well. He's got them yellow fins, all that dark yellow coloration right on his gills and the deep black fins with that little point that tells you it's a true armatus. And over here, we've got the baby royal clown knife. 
He says it'll been when he uh, arrived yesterday. He was a little bit beat up. Cause like I said, he doesn't like to travel well for some reason. Sometimes you'll get some fish that uh, just, you know, spaz out in, in uh, transportation. They, they might bash their, their nose. They might even go belly up. But it doesn't always mean that, you know, they're going to die. Sometimes it's just how their body reacts to things. But you can see he's settled in quite nicely. And then we've got, this is the little Tiger Shovel Nose uh, Marble Achara Hybrid that Matt actually went on a rescue for us and he brought up here when he brought the Armadas. So that cat's looking pretty great. He's actually uh, checking out all of his tank mates and cruising the tank, something you don't normally see too often. So he's used to hiding behind that uh, FX5 inlet over there. Of course, you can't forget about this beauty right here. This is a Giardini Arrow. As you can see, he's got them pinkish gold uh, spangles on his back fins. He's got that green hue on each uh, scale. Then he's got that golden rose outline on each scale. You can see he just reflects off the light as he swims by. Beautiful looking fish. Now these guys are known for being aggressive, but uh, Matt told me he, he's uh, pretty easy to manage his aggression. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and test him out. What do we have here? This is the Ornate Bicher. We have a couple more of these in the 1,000 gallon that these guys will eventually join. And then behind this sponge filter there is the Delhezi Bicher. These guys are true dinosaurs. They're actually, they, they look prehistoric because they are prehistoric. There is a wide variety of uh, Bichers in the Bicher family, but they all are beautiful in their own feet. Like, look at that guy. He just looks like a dinosaur. Got them cool lit, little, I don't know what you want to call them, maybe his nostrils, I don't know, but right off of his nose. And then this little guy hiding it in the shadows is the weak sea bicher. This is one that I did not have here at the, the, the rescue for display. So these guys will grow nice and big and join our collection of bichers. But I just wanted to show you guys what these guys look, look like after they settled into their tank. So I want to uh, thank you guys for stopping by to watch today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys uh, want, want to see more about these baby monsters growing out, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And there's uh, one more thing. What do you want to say, Matt? Stay fishy, my friends. There we go.